Okay, so did it do the derivative? Yes. And now we're going to ask so it I work to show with us students every stuff. week. I have students who are four or five years old. I have students who are adults. I have students who are community college, college, third grade, eighth grade, all different students. I find with my students, I need to sit down with them and say, well, let me show you this thing. And we do a little bit. And there's a lot of this back and forth. You know, here's a problem. Let's work it out. What if you did it a different way? What if you change it? And I always try to fish around and find something that they go, oh, oh, kind of surprising thing. Now I think we're getting something we can understand better. So it says that as it approaches 10, the limit is 2.59. And there's the graph. See, they made a nice graph for us. Mm -hmm. And you can see it's leveling off. Huh? The slope is falling off, and it's coming out. So, you know, maybe there's a limit, maybe there isn't. So let's change that to 100 up above. Yeah. Look at the number, 2.70. So, um, if you and I both know that E is like, what, 2.718 or something like that, mm -hmm. then you could say, well, it's getting closer to E. And if you put 1,000 in, I think that could probably clinch it. Okay, and now let's be daring and say infinity. See what Wolfram Alpha does with that. Okay, it says the limit is 2.71828. All right, now go back and take that decimal point out. Maybe it'll give us the exact answer, E, e. now. Yeah. Ah, bravo, bravo. Very good. So, nice. Yeah. Nice. If you're a teacher or a parent, of a child in school, uh, my advice would be to get Wolfram Alpha on the screen and to look at many examples and to put your own examples in and to see what you think for yourself. I think you can just type sine x. All right. So let's see. It gives us the answer, huh? Mm -hmm. Which is the same thing the TI-89 will do. But what is this little thing in the corner here? They show steps. Show steps. Uh, dynamite, huh? Mm -hmm. Definitely. Definitely. See? Definitely. Oof. Now, would you say uh, all the billions and billions of students in the world studying calculus would make use of that? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think so, too. You know, the idea that here's the problem, and we go in behind the scenes, and we do something, and we produce the answer can be very helpful. Mm -hmm. But show me how a person would do it. Right, exactly. Now, the way it shows the steps, does it match up pretty well to what your teachers in school would tell you? Uh, yeah, the notation's maybe slightly different, but I mean, it, it really is it's pretty not close. Not a problem, huh? No, not no. A problem. I, I'm able to make sense of it, definitely. Yeah. Could you actually learn how to do it? Yeah, I, I mean, that's what I've been doing the past month that's or so. That's what you've been doing, huh? Mm -hmm. So you get a problem and you can't do it. Mm -hmm. And you put it in here, and it does it. And you look at the steps, and you study them, huh? Yeah. And then you try to maybe do it yourself, or? Yeah. OK. What more do people want, huh? Huh. I expect the people at Mathematica at Wolfram to work on this Wolfram Alpha for at least the next 10 years. And in five years, it'll be a lot better. And in 10 years, it'll be much, much better.